so yesterday what we have done we have created one delivery controller okay yeah and we have installed uh, some of the core components like delivery controller studio director license server along with the database okay on single machine mm -hmm. yeah so now today <laughs> what we are going to do we are going to create one site first static site here for our infra so to do the same okay the memory of this machine is 2 gb okay so for any delivery controller at least 5 gb of memory is required okay so i am making it 6 gb i am increasing the memory yeah, Okay, so yesterday what we have done, we have installed we studio. Yeah. We <laughs> configure install the director studio license server and the SQL for database in a single machine. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you will launch Citrix for a first time studio, you will get a blank site. Why? Because we have only completed the installation part, not the configuration part. Okay. Now we are going to connect every component like director, studio, your license server, and your mm -hmm. hypervisor to this site. Because okay. in production, you will find different, different servers for different, different components, right? But when you will be configuring your delivery controller, you have to add all the components together okay for the proper functionality mm -hmm. so this is your fresh site nothing configured mm -hmm. so far so in citrix yes. when you will be configuring the site or new server so you will get three options over there first one is to create a new site second one if you have any physical uh, laptop or desktop available in your office and you want to publish them directly to the end user over the internet so you can go with the second option but second option it is not recommended why because we are working into the virtual world we are working with the virtual machines only not not with the physical one and okay. And third one, it is for your scale up your deployment. It means if you are already having any existing delivery controller, right? And you want to add another one for the load balancing, right? And for the failover, mm -hmm. so you can connect this mm -hmm. to the existing one. So in our case, we do not have any existing one. So we have to create the first site, right? To publish okay. or deliver our application mm -hmm. and desktop to the to user. user. So I'm clicking on the first option. And also you will get the recordings in sequence only, right? So whenever uh, like mm -hmm. uh, you <laughs> will be performing the lab now, so please follow the sequence, mm -hmm. okay? 
ओके सो साइट नेम इट कुड बी एनीथिंग इट कुड बी योर ऑफिस नेम लोकेशन नेम कंट्री नेम व्हाटएवर इट इज राइट सो लेट्स मेक आवर साइट एज इंडिया ओके क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट नाउ इन सिट्रिक्स वी आर हैविंग थ्री काइंड ऑफ डेटाबेस ओके फर्स्ट डेटाबेस इज साइट डेटाबेस second one mm -hmm. is your monitoring one and third one is the logging one so okay. the site database it stores the logs which is related to the site configuration how we have configured the site what are the parameters we have given right ip address logs mm -hmm. each and everything will be there the monitoring database okay. it will store the data related to the hardware utilization of your virtual machines means your hypervisor hardware utilization like if any machine is uh, over utilizing your cpu or memory right like more than 80% of utilization mm -hmm. so you will get alert right so monitoring okay. means yes yes the hardware utilization and third one is the logging one so logging one means this is for our citrix engineers and for end users as well whenever end users logging into our infra right whenever they are logging off what applications they are using and for citrix administrator like what operations they are performing if they are creating any machine catalog or delivery group whatever the activities our engineers are doing each and every activity will be into this database okay so okay. in citrix we are having three database site monitoring and logging just forget about india it is just a site name okay so okay. database name is citrix site citrix monitoring and citrix logging okay and in production you will find the separate sql server for sure okay but in our case what we have done mm -hmm. we have installed sql server on the same yes. machine so that is the only reason oh. it is mention local host here okay but if you have okay. a separate sql server in that case what you have mm -hmm. to do you have to replace the local host by the name or uh, host name or the ip address of your sql server right okay why because so this is how we link it sql server okay okay now we are connecting our sql server in our case sql server is installed on the this machine only right so hmm. uh, that is the only reason okay. why it is mentioned local host but if a sql server is uh, on different machine in that case you can replace the local host by the host name or the ip address of your sql server that's it okay 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 sir okay click on next <laughs> now what it will do it will create three database in the into the your sql server like site monitoring and logging and we have nothing to do with the sql server why because we are not the sql guy you will find mm -hmm. different database engineer there is another okay. one responsible yeah yeah we are we just have to create the database that's it we are not uh, going to manage the database okay that is not our task mm -hmm. our task is simply to generate the reports that's it if you need any kind of report from director you can simply generate the report and that report will be comes from the sql only okay okay now what we are doing we have connected our sql right now we have to connect yeah. our license server okay so okay in production for sure you will find a different server but in our case it's a local host it's only it's the same one okay, okay. and port mm -hmm. number for license server is 27000 always yes, and mm -hmm. as we are you know learning the thing so Citrix will provide you 30 days trial license at free of cost. Okay, so we are okay with that part for learning purpose, right? <laughs> But in production, if you have to uh, like increase your license or add new license, right? In that case, what you can mm -hmm. do, you can click on use an existing license, and you can okay. click on allocate and download, and you have to enter mm -hmm. the code. That code you will get from the Citrix team when you will be procuring the license. Okay. Okay. or purchasing the license mm -hmm. but we are good with the 30 days trial so that is completely fine click mm -hmm. on next now it is asking to connect to the hypervisor okay okay so 
in our case this is our hypervisor on which we are working gen server okay okay and if i go to the console you will see these are the ip address this is the ip address okay for our hypervisor mm -hmm. so what we will do we will simply add our hypervisor okay what is that 10.101 so <clears throat> in connection name you can type http colon double slash 192.168.10.101 okay. okay and okay. the username of hypervisor so username is root and i am entering the password these credentials i created earlier i will share with you okay okay Okay. And in connection name, uh, you can give any connection name, but it should be identical. Means in our case, our site name is India, India. right? So you can give like uh, CTX for Citrix, mm -hmm. HYP for hypervisor, and IND mm -hmm. for India. Okay. For India. Okay. So that means uh, this particular connection is pointing to the India site. Okay. You can okay. enter anything, but it should be identical. Like someone will, uh, will be able to understand, right? Yeah, to understand what it is exactly. Okay. <laughs> so simply click on next. Now what it will do, it will try to connect to the hypervisor with the credentials mm -hmm. what we have given. Okay, connections mm -hmm. are fine, credentials are fine. Now mm -hmm. coming to the storage management. So in production, you will find some shared storage if you ever heard about it, like the ISKG storage or NAS storage, network area storage, right? Uh, to keep mm. data secure at a uh, centralized place. But in our case, we will use the local storage, like local uh, drive of that hypervisor. Why? Because we cannot afford the network storage. It is very, very costly, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But in production, you will find some uh, network storage or shared drive or shared path. So, click on next. Okay. Now, this is our storage selection. Like our virtual machine operating system will be on the local and temporary files also will be on the local drive. Okay. Click on next. Now, network name. So, again, it should be identical pointing out to, uh, to your data center. Mm -hmm. So, CTX. So, CTX. Over there, we have mentioned mm -hmm. the hypervisor, but here we have to mention then n for network and network. then ind okay hmm. or you can type like net right yeah so simply click on next app be publishing it is uh, almost in end of life so do not uh, worry for that thing okay okay click on next and now this is the summary, what options we have selected. So it will create three databases like site, monitoring, and uh, site login. database, monitoring, and logging. Yeah, our delivery controller is that fatima.dc.techamtech.com. This is a fully qualified mm -hmm. domain name. And okay. license server is on localhost. This is our uh, hypervisor detail, the IP address what we have given. This is our connection mm -hmm. name. Okay, now <laughs> the first database is a site database, right? So yes. these configurations will be stored in site database only. Why? Because this is something relevant mm -hmm. to the site configuration. Okay. 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 Whatever the options we have selected, all those logs will go there only into the site database. Why? Because monitoring is for the hardware utilization and this is for the logging. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all mm -hmm. those configuration related to the site will store in site database. Simply click on finish. And within some time, you will get your first site. It will take a while. I think someone is using, no one is using the lab. I'm not sure why my mouse is automatically going here and there. Sir, I have a doubt over this time. If mm -hmm. the DC goes down, mm -hmm. domain controller goes down, even if it is like load balanced one, it must land like we have two domain controllers, okay? Mm -hmm. And if both of them goes down, mm -hmm. can we still able to work with the Citrix? Yes. Okay. There'll, How is it possible, sir? There will be no impact on the 
existing running sessions okay okay the sessions which is already connected there will be no impact mm -hmm. on that but no new user will be able to connect why okay. because ad server uh, it will not mm -hmm. be able to allow to validate the credentials okay so to okay. avoid these kind of situations like uh, mm -hmm. if uh, like each and every uh, domain controller go, uh, goes down in that case mm -hmm. we always mm -hmm. use a, like a lightweight active directory ldap if you ever heard about it so uh, okay so what ldap will do ldap temporarily mm -hmm. stores the active directory user information in the cache mm -hmm. so if both mm -hmm. the domain controller go to, goes goes down so ldap will we act as a domain controller it will validate the credentials but not permanently for a while like one day two day something like that hmm okay so this is okay. how it works so so in, in okay ldap will work for one or two days in the same meantime can we export the configuration into a new existing machine new dc machine yes yes we uh, we always have backup right you can restore oh. you you can restore the logs file like active directory data like computer data whatever the data is there in mm -hmm. your domain controller because when we are working on domain controller na so there is a scheduled mm -hmm. backup always okay. we always schedule the backup of user a uh, user account why because if you are having thousand of users in your infra right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. yes it is not possible to recreate all the user account uh, with the you know assigned permissions to them because you don't know which permission is given to this user right at domain level mm. Mm. so <laughs> weekly or monthly or maybe on daily basis is totally up to the company we have to schedule okay. the backup Back. and you will get one dot uh, uh, ba key file vak file with extension okay and you can restore that mm. file to any of your new server so okay, <laughs> this is how it works but uh, it is actually uh, you know multiple companies are running on multiple domain controller like a uh, dc adc then your rodc right so hmm. there is a very very rare chances right everything goes down hmm. never possible actually um, yeah unless and until I there is a earthquake know. or data center completely burned down right some natural disaster mm. kind of situations but to avoid those kind of situation what is the plan here like we always set up uh, one data center in uk and another one you know on us or something like that right opposite mm. so uh, both the data center will work parallelly okay sir. got the point thank you so your site is created okay and this option i explained you right yesterday only yeah machine catalog sir so this is your you tell me about all these things machine catalog delivery groups applications or policies right so now <laughs> our task is to create the machine catalogs right okay so to create the machine catalog like uh, you can create n number of machine catalog department wise means let's give me a minute okay sir so basically in sit fix first we have to create the master image master image or golden image okay, okay. Hmm. so what is master image master image it is a virtual machine with all the required so applications or softwares whatever it is right okay. applications or os whatever is required for end users right mm -hmm. it is a complete package okay. and now we have got some requirement to create 100 virtual machines okay in a single day okay. 
so mm. you have two options either you can create uh, machines one by one right you have to install mm. all the software in a single machine one by one so that is mm. practically not possible right so yes, what exactly. we will do we always uh, create one master image and with mm -hmm. that master image we simply copy the master image and we will create 100 machines why because this master image already having all the required software mm. right but one problem here is that because in production you are having different departments right hr department yes. is there finance department mm. is there right so in that case what will happen each uh, department will have different uh, requests yes so we have to create different master images department wise right okay. why because mm. for it user software requirement may be different right for hr software mm. requirement may be different or for finance there is different software right so mm. we always uh, take a uh, like a request from the department like uh, which mm -hmm. application or software is required then according to them we will create separate master image so in production you will find master image for like uh, hr right or master mm -hmm. image for it It's up to department wise okay so mm -hmm. in this we will be creating a single master image but in production you will get different master images okay 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 so now to create the master image the first we require the virtual machine okay so i am going to create new virtual machine here okay and let me name it like uh, Fatima hyphen M S T for the master image. Master, okay. Check it. Or uh, let's suppose we are working for the uh, like we are uh, working for one department known as H R. Okay, so let's mm -hmm. name it like description. For HR team with uh, with uh, some applications like uh, Notepad plus plus and WinRAR and Chrome for an example. Okay, we will be going to install okay. these applications. So whenever you will be modifying your master image, na. Every time mm -hmm. you have to change the description means you you have got mm -hmm. some requirement like uh, you have to remove WinRAR as per the client requirement. Yes. Okay, so whenever mm -hmm. you will be updating your master image, you have to change the description. Okay. Okay. Every application what ever you installed in the master image should be mentioned here into the dis description. Otherwise, what you have to do, you have to log into machine and you have to check what is installed. Right. Yes. Yeah. So. This is a you know a kind of a general SOP for every Citrix engineer. Mm -hmm. First, they have to change the description, then only they have to do the modification. Okay. Okay, so let's quickly join this master image to our domain first. Mm -hmm. And into the computer no, name to change it. So computer name we can make it like yes. uh, MST. MST for uh, HR. Okay. Mm -hmm.
okay so this machine is in our domain now let me reboot that Okay, so now, uh, before configuring this as a master image, first, uh, we have to install few application, demo applications, right? So mm -hmm. I have one shared path. Let's see if I find something over there. Okay, Google Chrome is there. And uh, that no, free version Atlas. of Office is there. Atlas this. Sorry? What do we have? We we mentioned three different softwares, right? Mm -hmm. So Notepad Plus one... Plus is not there. So we will replace no. the we will change the description as per our software. Okay. 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 And also WinRAR. Uh WinRAR where it is. Uh let me download it. So do one thing. First mm -hmm. uh, copy the Chrome. Okay. Then we can go with this uh, open office. It is not Microsoft okay. Office, it is a open office. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> and WinRAR, we can get it from here. Might be into downloads. No. Okay, so we have got Windar as well. Mm -hmm. So let's install all these applications. In production, you will find different different applications like Teams, Outlook, Zoom, okay, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. Office 365. So whatever they mm -hmm. are using, you have to install every application. Okay. Thank you. 
give me a minute. This server is stuck actually. Okay. Okay. Okay, so window installation is done. We can delete the installer. Then this office. And parallelly we can Launch Chrome as So what we have done, we have installed three applications. Okay. So to avoid the confusion, we can change the change. description. Yeah. Like open Windows. office, Windows and Chrome. Okay. And we can delete the installer files not required now. So we have done with three application for testing purpose. And now <coughs> we have to take a snapshot of this machine. So to manage uh, the snapshot, what we have to do, we have to install the VDA agent in that every machine, okay? So in master image, what we are going to do, we are having one ISO file from Citrix always. Just open it, click on yes. And we will go with the both the options like to deliver application and desktop. Click on start. And now you can see this option, prepare machine and images, right? So <laughs> initially what we have done, we have installed the required applications. Now we have to configure this as a master image to do the same. We have to install the VDA agent that is known as virtual delivery agent. You there? Hello? Yes, sir, I'm listening to you. Okay, so I'm clicking on this option. Now we are going to create a master MCS image. So what is MCS? It is machine creation services. Okay, from Citrix. So we are going to uh, configure this machine as a master image. So select the first option. Okay. Click on next. And VD agent installation is required. That is must. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And this is the optional one. If you want to install Citrix Workspace app on the virtual machine, you can do that, but it is not actually required. So okay. simply click on next. The additional components not required for you right now. Go with the default one only because <laughs> we are okay. not using any Outlook or any other thing in this machine, right? So simply mm -hmm. click on next. Now, very, very important, here you have to enter your delivery controller address. Why? Because your VDA agent will 
send the information to delivery controller only, right? Yes, so, yes. So here you have to type the correct address. That is what we have given. Fatima dash tc. Dash tc dot tech dot com. Click on the test connection. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fatima DC. Maybe it's case sensitive. Sorry. Is it case sensitive when we write the controller address? Yani, it will be the same name. T H I M is a F A T H. F A T H. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Now it is green. It is connecting. Mm -hmm. Click on add. So for load balancing, if you have multiple delivery controllers, you can you have to add all mm -hmm. the controllers here, right? You can type another okay. name, you can click on add, okay? Mm -hmm. Click on next. And remote assistant tool is required for shadowing the mm -hmm. session, right? Okay. And we are not going to use any Zoom or Teams inside the VDI right now. So I'm not going to check this box. If you have to, you know, make a call inside your VDI, so you can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whenever we are using any um, application which is uh, for audio visual communication, yes, yes, we, we will to... go for that option. Yes, okay, so these are the port numbers. I will send you the guide in which you will find mm -hmm. the roles for those port numbers. Click on next. Here is the summary what we have selected the installation directory, the prerequisites, the core component and mm -hmm. the delivery controller details, okay? Click on install. So that installation will take a while, maybe a couple of minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. And in this call, we are having only less than a minute remaining. So I will be sharing new invite to you soon, okay? Within, okay. let's take a break for uh, two or five minutes, then I will send. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.